Good morning to all. I am VP Krishnamurthy, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, E Road Sengundar Engineering College, Perundurai. Today we are going to see about kinematics of machines. In the subject having <coughs> different type of mechanism. The subject will deals with the different type of mechanism. First unit we will see basics of mechanism. In this basic basics of mechanism and then including introduction, terminology, mechanisms, inversions of four bar chain mechanism, slider crank chain mechanism, double slider crank chain mechanism, pressure mechanism. Okay. In the subject, in the subject, first the theory of machines. The theory of machines divided into two category. One is the kinematics, another one is the dynamics. Yes, the theory of machine is that the branch of science which deals with the study of relative motion between the various parts of the machine and the forces which act on them. The first one is the kinematics. This deals with the relative motion between the various parts of the machine. It is without consideration of forces. Study about the without consideration of force, it is called as kinematics. The next one is dynamics. This deals with the study of various forces involved in the various parts of the machine with the force. It is called as dynamics. Yes. So next, what is kinematics? <clears throat> Kinematic means it deals with the relative motion of different parts of mechanism without taking into consideration the forces producing the motions. But it, it, it is relates with the displacement, velocity and the acceleration of part of mechanism. Next, mechanism. Mechanism means if a number of bodies are assembled in such a way that the motion of one cause constraint and the predictable motion to the others. It is known as mechanism. So mechanism means without force, maybe some, some of the mechanism having without force. Next one is machine. A machine is a mechanism or combination of mechanisms which apart from the imparting different motion to the parts. Also transmit and modify the available mechanical energy in the same kind of desired work. Yes. So all the machines have some mechanism but all the mechanism not machine. Okay. So next one is structure. So what is structure? Structure as an assembly of number of resistant bodies having no relative motion between them. Yes. The structure have no relative motion. But all the mechanism and the machines having some motion. Yes. So what are the difference between the machine and the structure? So first one is machine. The relative motion exists between the its parts. But structure, no relative motion exists between the its number, members. It transform available energy into useful work. But structure is, it is not transform the available energy into useful work. Next one is links or mean to transmit motion and forces. But structure, members are mean for carrying load having starting action. That's, that's all. Example, the machine example, car, lathe, sepper, so many type of machines. That is called example available. But structure, uh, roof, stresses, bridge, etc. These are the example for structure. Okay. Next, terminologies. <clears throat> the resistant body. So, what is resistant body? A body is said to be resistant if it is capable of transmitting the required force with negligible deformation. It is called resistant body. Link or element. Technically, it is called as element. Link or element. Yes. A link or element is defined as the part of the machine which has motion related to some other part. Yes. So, the each single part of the machine is called as link or element. Okay. The characteristics of link. So, what are the characteristics of link means? It should have relative motion. It is must be a resistant body. These are the characteristics of link. Okay. Types of link. So, types of link having three types normally. One is rigid link. Next one is flexible link. Third one is fluid link. Yes. Rigid link. 
A rigid link is a link which does not undergo any deformation while transformation of motion. Yes, that is called rigid link. It is a fixed rigid one, no transformation during the motion. Flexible link. A flexible link is partially deformed in a manner not to affect the transmission of motion. Example, flexible link it is called as belt. Belt is a flexible link. Yes. Next one is the fluid link. When motion is transmitted by means of fluid, it is known as as fluid link. Example, hydraulic jack, hydraulic brush, that's all. So these are the fluid link. Okay. Next one is the kinematic pair. So next, uh, uh, kinematic pair. What is kinematic pair? A pair is a joint of two elements that permit relative motion. Yes, the combination of <coughs> two elements. Okay, the combination of two elements with relative motion between them. When any two links or elements are connected in such a way that their relative motion is completely or successfully constrained, they form a kinematic pair. Yeah. For example, best example is the kinematic pair compass. The compass is a kinematic pair. Yes. Compass have two legs. Okay. But uh, relative, it is have two, two legs have relative motion, but uh, jointly together. Okay. Example, uh, crank and connecting rod, connecting rod and piston, piston and engine cylinder. Yes. This diagram shows example for kinematic pair okay different type of element interconnected but the all the element interconnected element having some relative motion okay next types of kinematic pairs so the kinematic pairs can be classified according to nature of contact nature of mechanical constraint nature of relative motion so these are the main kinematic types of pair okay the kinematic pair according to the nature of contact Again, <coughs> the nature of contact, based on the nature of contact, having two types. One is the lower pair, another is the higher pair. Yes, a lower pair means a pair of link having surface or area contact between the members is known as lower pair. Best example is shaping machine. Shaping machine, the ram is moving above the table. Yes, above the um, um, table of the ram. So the ram is moving about the bit, sorry, bit. Okay. But at the same time, the surface of the ram and the bit both are the same contact. The surface, full surface is contact. So that is called as lower pair, the best example. Okay. Similarly, uh, nut turning screw, screw uh, rotating soft on the bearing. These are the example for lower pair. Okay. Next one is the higher pair. What is meant by higher pair? When a pair has a point or line contact between the link, it is known as higher pair. The contact surfaces of the two links are dissimilar. Maybe point contact between the two links or line contact only. Example, cam and follower motion is the best example for higher pair. Tooth gears, ball and roller bearing, etc. So, so many diagrams, so, so many pictures is given for higher pair. First one is the, this is, first one is called as cam and follower, this is the point contact or line contact. Similarly, the gears are line contact, okay. So, the bearing also line contact, just a point or line contact. So, these are the example for the higher pair, okay. The kinematic pair according to the nature of mechanical constraint, yes. So, depends upon the constraint, again classified the closed pair, unclosed pair. Closed pair means when the elements of the pair are held together mechanically, it is known as a closed pair. The contact between the two can only be broken only by the destruction of the destruction of at least one of the members. All the lower, lower pair and some of the higher pairs are closed pair. Unclosed pair means when two links of pair are or in contact either due to the force of gravity or, or some spring action. They constitute an unclosed pair in this the links are not together mechanically. So this, that is called as closed pair and unclosed pair. Kinematic pair according to the nature of relative motion. Yes. 
So between the two surfaces having some relative motion, it puts up on the contact point to divide again sliding pair, turning pair, rolling pair, screw pair, spherical pair. Yes. So these are the classification according to the nature of relative motion. So what is meant by sliding pair? If two links have sliding motion related to each other, the they from sorry the form of sliding pair. The rectangular rod in a rectangular hole in a prism is an example of sliding pair. Best example the window. The window door is sliding moving left and right. That is the one of the sliding pair example. Turning pair. What is turning pair? When on or when on links has a turning or revolving motion related to to the other, they constitute a turning pair or revolving pair. A yes, turning pair is a nothing but of one one another the rotating. Like that is a turning. It is called as one another one another a turning. That is called as turning pair. The rolling pair. Yes. When the links of the pair having rolling motion related to each other, a form of rolling pair, a rolling wheel on a flat surface, ball and roller bearings, etc. Or some of the example of a rolling pair. Yes, next is screw pair. If two mating links are turning as a, as well as sliding motion between them. They form a screw screw pair. Yes. For example, best example is bolt and nut is a screw pair. This is the achieved by the cutting matching threads on the two links. The lead screw, the nut of the lathe of the lathe is a screw pair. Yes, a bolt and nut is a simple example for screw pair. Spherical pair. Yes. When one link in the form of spear turns inside the fixed link it is spherical pair the ball and the jacket join the spherical pair the spherical pair one is the fixed one and is the movable to any axis it is called as spherical pair types of constraint motion constraint motion having three types one is the completely constraint motion incompletely constraint motion successfully constraint motion or partially constraint motion Completely constrained motion means <clears throat> if the motion between a pair of links is limited to the different direction, then it is completely constrained motion. Example, motion of a saw or rod with the collars at each end of the holes. The, in this uh, pictures given shows the one element, one element is uh, inside a ro roller uh, I mean the cylindrical shape, the another, one, another one is the outer cylindrical shape. Here only allow the inside the circular element moving left and right, not rotating. So that is called completely constrained motion. Next one is the incompletely constrained motion. If the motion between a pair of link is not confined to a different direction, then it is then it is completely constrained motion. Example. A spherical ball or circular shaft in a circular hole may either rotate or slide in the hole. For example, uh, first picture, left side picture shows here inside a cylinder, cylindrical element rotating as well as moving left and right. That is an incompletely constrained motion. Yes. Successfully constrained motion or partially constrained motion. If the motion in a different direction is not brought about by itself but by the some of some other means that it is known as successfully constrained motion footstep bearing example footstep bearing next mechanism it is consist of a definition of mechanism types of mechanism definition of inversion of mechanism types of inversions of mechanism four bar chain mechanism slider crank chain mechanism double slider crank chain mechanism so these are the mechanism we will see first one is uh, mechanism what is mechanism definition of mechanism if a number of bodies are assembled in such a way that the motion on one cause the constraint and predictable motion to the others it is known as mechanism already we know that 
what is mechanism now we will see types of mechanism a simple mechanism common mechanism the simple mechanism means a mechanism with four links is known as simple mechanism common mechanism means a mechanism with more than four links is known as common mechanism normally the simple mechanism are connected 1 to 1 2 3 4 up to 5 the type of links are interconnected and having some relative motion this is called simple mechanism compound mechanism having more than four links and also interconnected maybe rotational motion maybe oscillation motion so the type of mechanism is called as compound mechanism machine <coughs> already know that what is machine a machine is a mechanism or a combination of mechanism which apart from imparting different motion to the parts also transmit and modify the available mechanical energy into the some useful work that is called machine inversion of inversion of mechanism so what is been by inversion of mechanism it is different as the the method of obtain obtaining different mechanism by fixing different link in a kinematic chain is known as inversion of mechanism so before that we will see what is chain chain means the combination of kinematic pair the kinematic chain means the combination of kinematic pair interconnected it is called kinematic chain a kinematic chain is defined as the combination of kinematic pair joined in such a way that relative motion between the links or element is completely or successfully constrained it is interconnected it is called kinematic chain the three important kinematic chains are four part chain mechanism single sided crank chain mechanism double sided crank chain mechanism so these are our syllabus so we will see one by one four part chain mechanism single sided crank chain mechanism double sided crank chain mechanism first one we will see a four part chain mechanism what is meant by four part chain mechanism why it is called as four part chain mechanism because in this four part chain mechanism having four links all are interconnected okay so here you will see the four links of a four part chain mechanism the first link it is called as frame it is a fixed one it is a fixed link so fixed link is called as frame the other one is the crank or driver so there is called input link the link that make complete revolution as it is called it is called as crank so crank is a input element <coughs> coupler coupler or connecting rod the link opposite to the fixed link is known as coupler or connecting rod that is called as a second link next one is the lever rocker or follower this the, that link it is called as the, different name lever or rocker or follower the link which is which makes a partial rotation or oscillation is known as lever or rocker okay so here you will see having four elements that is called first one is frame this is a fixed one second one is called crank third one is the coupler or connecting rod fourth one is the rocker or follower or lever so this is the the basic elements of four part chain mechanism okay so what is said that cross of law for four part chain mechanism what is meant by cross of law the cross of cross of law state that the sum of the shortest and the longest links cannot be or less than cannot be or less than less than the sum of other two links length if there there is to be continuous relative motion between the two members so cross of law state that shortest and longest link less than or equal to other two links actually the four part chain mechanism having four links here shortest link link is number 2 that is called crank crank okay then number 2 3 is the connecting rod or coupler so this this two length is the the length of the two links are less than or equal to other two length then only satisfied the cross cross law then the you follow follow the cross cross law then only it is operate or otherwise it is a jam getting jam okay next the significance of the cross cross law it is 
specify the order in which the links are connected in a kinematic chain. It is specific which link of the forward chain is fixed. So here S plus L less than or equal to P plus U is the inequality, inequality is the is not satisfied. No link will, will make a complete revolution related to another. Okay. The inversion of four power chain mechanism, the first one is the example. First inversion example is beam engine. Second inversion example is coupling rod or of locomotive. Third inversion is watts indicator mechanism or steel mechanism. So next one is the pentagram, <coughs> pentograph or Ackermann steel mechanism. So these are the, the example of the inversions of four power chain mechanism. First, we will see first inversions of uh, inversions of four power chain mechanism. So here the reciprocity beam engine is the application. Here the link only is fixed when the crank AB rotate about A. The link C C provided sorry rotor <coughs> at D makes a vertical reciprocity motion at the, so in the four power chain mechanism. The application is beam engine. Here, see that, so this is the fixed one, it is called as a frame, it is a fixed one, okay. So now, the element 2 is the crank, it is rotated like this, this is the crank, it is rotated like this. So this connecting rod is connected to the, the another one element, <coughs> that is called as a rocker or lever. Now, the crank is rotated like this, automatically, the connecting rod is moving like this up and down, up and down. So the deflection element is moving up similarly uh, E down and up, down and up. It is like this changing the motion. So the application is here the, the respirating action we will get. That is called as the application of beam engine. <coughs> the second inversion application is coupling rod of locomotive. Yes. So here the application is in the locomotives the power from the leading wheel is transmitted to trailing wheel yes here the explanation of the locomotive here in this mechanism the length of link ad equal to length of link c also length of link ab equal to length of link cd when the ab rotates about a the crank dc rotates about d since links ab and cd works as a crank this mechanism is known as also double crank mechanism. Okay. So here see that this is the two rotating element like this moving with one, one more link. Here four, fourth link is fixed one. Link one and three is rotating. So here two is the moving like this left and right movement. There is a locomotive movement like a, a train. Train using this type of mechanism third inversion. So here the application is third inversion, uh, third inversion application is watch indicator or straight line mechanism. This mechanism is used to convert oscillatory motion into reciprocity motion. So here it is used to indicate the intensity of steam or gas pressure inside the cylinder. Here the what is the, uh, the arrangement of the third inversion means the link 3 is fixed uh, link AB and link BC. Link AB and uh, Link BC, the link DEF, see the diagram now, see that. That is called as a watch indicator mechanism. This is the mostly used for this type of mechanism, uh, punching press. So, punching press is same concept using this type of mechanism. Okay. Next, pentograph. So, pentagram, pentograph is one of the same application. Pentograph is a device which is used to reproduce a displacement exactly in a enlarged or reduced scale. For example, the pressing machine, the racks machine like this. So this is the reproducing exactly this type of mechanism we use. Next, Ackerman series mechanism. So Ackerman series mechanism one of the, the application of the inversion. So here the wheel is rotating like this, or, uh, rotating right side and left side. At the same time, the two wheels are uh, turning right side or left side. So same locomotive couples procedure. 
so arranged and also moving like like a left side or right side so inversion of next one is inversion of slider gun chain mechanism the second inversion of mechanism first one is the four bar chain mechanism number two is the slider crank chain mechanism the slider crank mechanism is the modification of four bar chain mechanism yes so slider crank chain mechanism the modification of four bar chain mechanism it is consists of one sliding pair and a three turning pair this is used to convert reciprocating motion to rotary motion and vice versa yes here also having uh, four link uh, one link one is the frame it is a fixed one number 2 crank a link make complete revolution is called as crank or input link number link 3 contiguous or coupler here the link opposite to the fixed link is known as contiguous or coupler fourth link cross cut or slider yes some modification of the four percent mechanism uh, see the this mechanism like uh, number 1 number 1 is the fixed frame this is both are number 1 this is a fixed frame is not movable number 2 that is circular shape it is the crank number 2 is the circular shape element is called as crank the crank will be rotating like clockwise or anti clockwise okay so assuming this is the clockwise rotation of the this crank number 3 is the connecting rod or coupler number 3 is the connecting rod or coupler number 4th element is called as slider fourth element is called as slider so this four bar chain mechanism sorry single sided crank mechanism the input link it is a rotary motion the output slider is the reciprocal rotating motion is the advantage of slider crank chain mechanism by using this mechanism any type of application you want which type of element which type of application you want you apply here so automatically this mechanism apply this mechanism you getting the output application here the application the first inversion is reciprocating engine reciprocating compressor by using the first inversion of slider gun chain mechanism so we, <coughs> we get reciprocating engine application or reciprocating compressor second inversion with two earth quickening mechanism or rotary engine by using the second inversion with two earth quickening mechanism or rotary engine mechanism we will get third inversion so our oscillating cylinder engine crank and slot lever mechanism there is by using the third inversion of slider gun chain mechanism we are getting this two type of application fourth inversion it is called as uh, application is <coughs> pendulum pump or hand pump by using the fourth inversion of slider gun chain slider gun chain mechanism the application is pendulum pump and hand pump okay now the first inversion we will see like uh, reciprocating engine or reciprocating compressor already we will explain so here <coughs> <coughs> sorry here uh, now the rotating element is rotate like this automatically connecting rod converted to the slider now the rotary motion converted to linear motion that is the reciprocating engine and the reciprocating compressing working process principle okay number 2 the second inversion you get the application is withworth quickening mechanism so withworth quickening mechanism crank and slider lever mechanism both are using shaping machine yes so shaping machine is operating behind this by behind by using with what we can mechanism or crank and slot lever quickening mechanism see here next one is the rotary engine or genuine engine yes this type of rotary engine the multiple cylinder we have multiple cylinder at the same time working the all the cylinder so uh, one by one so there is a use of the another application next third inversion the oscillating cylinder mechanism yes the oscillating cylinder mechanism by using the third inversion of slider crank chain mechanism here link 3 is the connecting rod link 3 is the here connecting rod so this is the link 3 normally it is a fixed one sorry uh, link 3 connecting rod is fixed so here is fixed now the element 2 rotating like this so now the <coughs> reciprocating it is the connecting rod the connecting rod is moving like this moving like this now the cylinder oscillating oscillating up and down oscillating up and down by using the third inversion of slider gun chain mechanism next one is the crank and slot slot lever mechanism already explained this type of mechanism also using uh, shaping machine okay so same concept with the like first inversion so this is a 
feature of uh, slotted lever can crank in mechanism the application of the uh, ram moving like this ram there is a ram moving in the shaping machine so now they are rotating in this element automatically the slider will move up and down so automatically the slider will look down so automatically the ram will reverse that is the reverse stroke the after rotating of the this element the slider will move up or up in the slider so automatically the ram will move forward that is the, the basic concept of the shaping machine fourth inversion fourth inversion of slider crank mechanism a uh, pendulum pump mechanism pendulum pump mechanism is the application and this mechanism is used to convert rotary motion into respiratory motion as yes, like first inversion uh, here this type of mechanism is used to duplex pump to supply fluid water to the boilers yes see that so like pendulum pump here uh, the cylinder is a this is cylinder the connecting this is a connecting rod this is a crank so the crank like moving left and right moving so automatically in connecting with the, this link to so this movement is like moving up and down the link cylinder four link moving up and down so there is a another application it is a hand pump mechanism already we discussed it next one is the double cylinder crank chain mechanism yes so first we will see four part chain mechanism number 2 single slider crank chain mechanism number 3 double slider crank chain mechanism so here double slider crank chain mechanism this consists of two turning pair two sliding pair yes so here have a number of element is number 1 is a frame number 2 is the slider four is the another slider three only rotating element so here a and b as a slider number 1 is a fixed one it is a frame number 3 is the connecting rod is a rotating element okay 2 and 4 also slider like okay the it is a current sliding pair having two turning pair two turning pair like uh, 1 and 4 is the turning pair 2 and 1 is also <coughs> turning pair okay so here <coughs> rotating this element number 3 so automatically the slider will move for example the slider 2 will come down so automatically the slider 4 will move left side the slider will the slider 4 will come right side automatically the slider 2 is moving upwards it is the the basic principle of double slider crank chain mechanism see that the inverse of double slider crank mechanism having only three inversion yes uh, four part chain mechanism single slider crank chain crank chain mechanism having a four inversion but double slider crank chain mechanism having only three inversion the example application is number first inversion application is elliptical trammel second inversion application is kachok mechanism third inversion mechanism is old arms coupling yes the first inversion application is elliptical trammel okay so now we will see the elliptical trammel maximum the drawing purpose or cutting purpose using okay see here the same this is the principle the basic principle of the double slider crank mechanism here applying elliptical trammel so here the same link 3 and extend it some distance and marking by by using for marking purpose pencil attached so automatically if you change the uh, mechanism so automatically the crank will be rotate number crank 3 is a rotate the slider 2 and 4 moving like this up and down and left and right so automatically the extent of extent of the extent of link 3 having a pencil means definitely it will move like this it is the elliptical shape only moving and also getting elliptical shape drawing or cutting this is the application of elliptical travel okay next one is scarchoke mechanism so scarchoke mechanism the second version of double slider crank chain mechanism application in this mechanism the rotary motion is converted into respiratory motion vice versa for example so here the link 3 is a rotating element rotating like this rotating clockwise automatically the slider move the slider 2 will move up and down up and down up and down moving at the same time this mechanism this the total mechanism moving left right the both action 
So cylinder move, the slider will move up and down at the same time, the T shape element move left and right, left and right. That is called as the scotch mechanism application. Okay. Next one is the third inversion, old arms coupling. Old arms coupling is the application of third inversion of double cylinder crankshaft mechanism. In this mechanism, the rotary motion converted into another rotary motion. Yes. Here, application, the mechanism is used to used for transmitting motion between two shafts which are parallel but not coaxial. Yes. The power transmission between the offset shaft. Okay. We will see. Yes. This is the old gum coupling. See. So, old gum coupling is the application of third inversion. The old gum coupling joined two coupling but not coaxial. Coaxial means, for example, the shaft A, there is a driving shaft. Driving shaft axis like this. But a different shaft axis like this. But both are joined, joined together. <coughs> but now rotating like this, automatically both the transmitted power from uh, driving shaft to driven shaft. That is application of double steering crankshaft mechanism, old arms coupling. So, thank you. Today's session. Thank you very much.